Good morning, good morning. I think I look a little better today. <laughs> um, so this is part two of parenting. Like I'm 28. Okay. I know I have a lot to still learn upon parenting, growing, you know, with my kid. Uh it's it's been a blessing that I can be able to grow my child. My my children are literally 14 and 4. So um what I see as being a parent at 28 years old, like everybody, I guess it's called a break. You know, everybody deserves to have time to themselves. Trust me, I get time to myself. Everybody should get time for themselves. Ooh, I need to get my eyebrows combed. <laughs> but um, so like everybody deserves to have free time, and I understand that. Like I'm a person that normally work, normally buy anything for my children, normally. I don't really do for myself. You know, some people look at that and be like, no, you got to do something for yourself. You got to keep yourself appearance above blah, 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 blah. I totally understand that. But I've always been comfortable in what I do. Like, jeans and t-shirt is my thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't need my hair done all every two fucking weeks. Like, natural hair is the best thing. I mean, I'm going to be well-groomed, as you can see. Not all over the place. Not wearing no fucking bonnet not wearing you know what i'm saying pajamas and shit like that that shit is absurd that's beyond me that's some that that's some unfortunate type shit that's something that i wouldn't do but when it comes to my children these people are not to drive when it comes to my children i'm gonna make sure and see forth that they are good no matter what like my kids gonna dress well better than me you know what i'm saying i got high standards i'm spoiled i'm the only child i have i have a lot i have i have demands okay so if I'm walking out the house with a jeans and t-shirt, guaranteed my kids about to be on a button-up skirt, dress, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Some nice jeans, some good shoes, you know, well-groomed, period. Like, they're going to look way better than me. Take out time for yourself? Definitely. But I feel that people that take out time for themselves often and don't let their children see what they see is the most rudest, disrespectful selfish self-centered thing ever like taking a trip by yourself is well needed i get it trust and believe that's hands down you know take a trip here and there to go see what you want to see but i feel at some point you need to take your child too to go see the same thing that you're seeing go adventure the same thing you adventure go look at the same thing you're looking at because you sitting your children in the household and you gone this Honda is on my ass y'all see that motherfucker but whatever um you go on a cruise or you go on you know any type of vacation is well much needed i totally understand that my first time ever going on a my own personal vacation was last june i went to pennsylvania virginia and, and uh, new york by myself but my kids turn right back around. My kids been traveling since they was kids. Like they didn't hit every every state you could possibly think of through through, through through my job or whatever, what I have to do. But you going on cruises and you going on these, you know, these nice adventures, nice islands, nice states, you know what I'm saying? Just to see what they got to offer. Why wouldn't you take your children with them with you? Like I feel they should be able to be explained. This is why a lot of kids get into a lot of bullshit and a lot of trouble because I feel that kids need to be explained every moment of their life. Every moment of your life, every moment of their life, every moment in second of what's going on. And people don't take the time out to do that at all. These parents nowadays, you know what I'm saying, think that it's okay to let your kids see a sex scene or it's okay that your kids get to stay in the house and eat cereal all fucking day or it's okay to eat sandwiches all fucking day or it's okay that... You don't have to sit there and explain life to them, budget, money, you know what I'm saying, situations like that. People be like, well, no, a child need to be in a child's place. That's true. Hands down. I get that. But also, a child is curious. And they curious to the fact of why is life like this? You don't want to give them a burden? Of course not. You don't want to give them worry? Of course not. But you want them to acknowledge because you never know when you're leaving. You want them to acknowledge what's going on in their surroundings. What should they be looking for? How they should dress? How they should look? How their hygiene should be on? And people, some people, you know what I'm saying, do the basics. Hygiene, fucking cursing, 
or even maybe the quote-unquote birds and the bees that's bullshit but with that being said oh shit my time is going out but with that being said i'm gonna pause